new week. This week is the very last vlogging week for Christmas, which is pretty exciting. Nathan's first Christmas, Nathan. not just any Christmas, Nathan's very first. He's completely unaware of what's happening for Christmas. This might be the last Christmas that he's completely unaware of what's happening. So it is both his first and last Christmas. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share Christmas Eve with him. But that is another story for in like a couple of days time. We have been at my mum and dad's this weekend and we have been playing this morning. It's been awesome. We had some gorgeous bacon sandwiches. We have had lots of playtime. Chris's mum and to go and give Shet a much needed Christmas bath. His annual bath. His annual, he does have more than one bath a year. Sure he does. Of course he does. Just not as good as this one. He is gonna come out smelling amazing. <laughs> Fewer job on my Christmas list now. Oh my god, don't run in front of a moving car. He walked right past the crossing and then just shot out in front of us because our light went green. So that means he needs to run or just stay still and not get run over. Chris's mum is a professional dog groomer, so we have just been to her salon, which is Hanvey's dog grooming in Preston. And we used a self dog wash, so I had to do it all myself. And it was dead easy. Like I soaked him up and then I washed him off and then I blow dried him. He wasn't so impressed with the blow drying. But the dog. A blue. Oh, you're not <laughs> saying that. He is now dry. He is fluffy and clean and gorgeous smelling. For at least a day. <laughs> well, I don't know. Until he gets home and let yeah. him out somewhere. Until he goes back out in the garden for a week. He anyway. He comes out covered in mud <laughs> and shit. No, I'm not letting him do that. I had spent like half an hour cleaning him. He is going to stay like that for at least Ever. half an hour. Forever. <laughs> Just driving through town and casually come across a steam train. That is not normal, surely. That's really cool. All the carriages have got all decorated for Christmas. I wonder if it's a Santa train. Do you Father Christmas is on there? Oh, the kid's going to see Father Christmas. That'd be really cool. Guess where we are? We are in the car again. again. <laughs> Always in the damn car at the moment. We like it in the car. It's comfy. We get to, oops, sorry. You just hit your head there on the roof. We get to chat, don't we Chris? No. No, he's driving, driving. very busy. Nathan's asleep in the back. As always, he's such a good napper. Today, he's such a good napper. Yesterday, not so much. We're off on our way to Liverpool at the moment. We are going to meet my family and we're going for a festive lunch. I don't really know what that means. I don't know, maybe they give you a cracker. Did they give you a cracker? <gasps> oh, I hope there's crackers. I bet our American friends don't even know what a Christmas cracker is. Really? Yeah, I don't think they have them. No. I don't think they have them. Okay, you guys are gonna have to leave me a comment down below and guess what you think a Christmas cracker is. How, how do they not know? No, I'm no, actually, I might be it's a, a staple of Christmas. You guys must know. I think, I think it's a British thing. Really? Oh, I'd love to hear about this then. Chris was really hoping he was gonna get to drone today. We've, um, we're going out into, like, into the countryside, pretty church, pretty pub, it's gonna be lovely. And it's raining because it's the Northwest. It's always raining in the Northwest. Like, I do not remember the last time I saw rain. It was weeks ago. But we arrive here. Trade. What is that? That was a bull in a Santa hat in someone's front garden. <laughs> That's so cool. Hi, you happy to be out of the car? Going for a little walk? Come on then. 
It's been a super long day, hasn't it, mate? <laughs> it is now about nine o'clock. Oh no, quarter past ten. It's now really late. We're about an hour away from home. Home, home. It's time for a break though, isn't it? Do you need some booby juice? Two of my favourite boys came to pick me up from work today and we are coming into the shop to come and do some Christmas shopping. The little guy's in the trolley! We're also a little bit more prepared this time with a chew defender and a dummy. You look so big, mister. So big! We've just been ages in Asda. Didn't vlog anything, but we did manage to spend £125 on food and we didn't buy food for tonight. We had such a big list of all the stuff we had to check off that we completely forgot to buy a dinner. So guess where we are? We have to sit in a McDonald's queue. We were away last weekend and I have just remembered that I haven't done my advent calendar in ages. No, like, I did it for you. What? This morning. No! No, you haven't. Check. What's the day today? 19th. 19th, 19th. 19th. No, you haven't. 16th is still empty. No, that's mine. That's mine! It's mine! Look, Jetna doesn't say mine. Oh. So you said it's the 19th today? Yeah. I had done the oh, oh, I have. <laughs> I thought I hadn't done the 10th. This is absolutely why advent calendars just, just don't work for me. But at least I get to eat loads of chocolate tonight. I've been following an account on Instagram called The Birth Poster and I was really lucky and I won one of their competitions a few weeks ago and this has just arrived through our door! I am so excited to open it. So this is it! Look at the little picture of the baby! I feel like I'm supposed to look at this and go, oh, he's so tiny! I don't remember how tiny he was. But what I actually think is, I'm sure he wasn't that big when he was born. So I'm gonna have to measure it and make sure. It turns out that maybe they do know what they're doing and it is exactly 19 inches long. Wow! Or maybe he was huge! Like, I really don't remember him being that big when he was born, it looked massive! Looking at that 19 inch long baby, it feels like he's only that big now. And he's so much bigger than that now. <sighs> Can't wait to see when she's grown. Guess where we are? We are back in the car again. But this time I have my hair cut. Feels so short. When I swear, when she cut it last night, I had like this much taken off. Like, tiny weeny amount. But it feels like it doesn't even touch my shoulders today. I miss my long hair already! I miss your long hair already. Oh no! You're just teaching me a lesson for getting my hair cut, aren't you? Yeah, I like your hair long. The reason we're in the car this evening is we're off out to Toys R Us. We're gonna go and have a wander around, admire all the amazing toys, and see if there's anything that Nathan wants to add to his Christmas list. Because there are still like four days left before Christmas. I'm sure Santa that... can, I'm sure Santa can fit in some time for an extra gift for Nathan if we need to. If he needs to. If anybody can do it, I think Father Christmas can. Okay, mister, you need to close your eyes so when we go in there, uh, you don't know what Santa's gonna ring you. <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to absolutely love magic when I was a kid. Do you reckon he wants some magic? There's no age limit on it. it could, it's no, there's no there's no age on it. He can be any age for magic. Oh no, it says six months plus. Oh, oh you are six months plus. Six months plus. Would you like some magic from Santa? Hi. She's like, what is going on? <laughs> you know, it's like way past my bedtime, right, guys? Falling asleep in the car and uh, we woke it abruptly, weren't you? You weren't best pleased. Tell them about it. Go on, tell them about it. There was a load of cool toys down that way, but apparently these are more age appropriate or something. Yeah. This is kind of the present he needs. No, he you doesn't. See that flash costume. He can't play with him anyway. Look at the flash costume. It's the right size too. It's so cute. Do you want to be the Flash or Batman? If you wear both, are you the Bat Flash or the Flash Man? No, don't flash. <laughs> Do you want to be the Flash? <laughs> don't be the Flash Man. We should not have picked this wrapping paper up first. Because you were going to hit someone with that. How many stuffed toys does he need on his list? <laughs> that is cute. He seems fascinated by this thing. Look what she's found. A teddy bear. How much this teddy bear is? 29.99. No. Seven pounds. He's in the wrong place. No. There's no way it's seven pounds. It is. In fact, we wouldn't even fit it in the house. We could. We should for seven pounds. Although you could skin it and use it as clothes for the baby. We have had loads of fun playing with toys in Toys R Us. 
even those that are probably a little bit too old for Nathan, but they're not too old for Chris and I. We've had a great time. Yeah, it says if it says three plus, it's good enough for me. We're definitely second that. I've spotted a couple of things that we're gonna let Father Christmas know about, and I think even though it's only a couple of days for Christmas, I think Father Christmas might be able to make it work. We'll I'm see. Sure we can. He's we'll magic. just have to wait. Hey, if he can squeeze down a chimney, and we don't even have a chimney, he can make it work. We might have to get him some sort of key. Like a magic key so we can get in. I think it's a little bit tricky that we don't have a chimney. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how Father Christmas gets into your houses. Especially if you don't have a chimney either. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Christmas yeah. Eve Eve today. And we got a phone call from Santa. And Santa said that he's struggling wrapping some gifts. He's doing all the kids' gifts. But some adult gifts, he needed some help wrapping. So that's what we're doing tonight. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you're doing today. But today, we're going to help him wrap some gifts. Turns out Santa must have been really lazy this year. Because there's quite a few gifts. Kind of like plastered around here. That still need wrapping. And I can't believe that he's left it to us. Anyway. Ignoring that, we're going to get it done. It is 8 o'clock on Christmas Eve Eve. Um, there's some Christmas music on. You may be able to hear in the background. I really should mute that just in case. Copyright strike and all. But we need a festive drink. Festive yes. drink. I don't like mud wine. So we're going to have mud Boo. cider. Yes. Booze. Yeah, booze. Alcohol. A boo hiss. Oh, boo I hiss. was doing. Uh, I like mulled cider. So when Jen went out to the shop earlier, she got some cider. Turns out we had some mulled cider. Spices? Spices? Yeah. Tea bags, mulled cider tea bags to put in it uh, from a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna make that while Jen starts organizing the presents. Yeah. I don't know, something gonna happen. I tried to give Chris a Santa hat to wear because it's Christmas Eve's Eve, you've got to look Christmassy. And he can't wear it because his hair's done and he's too cool. So it looks like I'm on my own wearing my Santa hat. Hey Shep, I've got an idea. Shep, come here. <laughs> come on, come here. Good boy. Sit. You'll join me, won't you, mate? There we go. Ah, oh. You weren't a very good Santa Paws. It all fell off already. Even you're not going to join me. Oh, Shep. Okay, so Shep doesn't want to wear the adult Santa hat because that's too human. So I found a better one for him instead. You can be my reindeer. Will you be my Rudolph? Hey, you happy in that? Told you it was just a mulled cider tea bag. That's all it is. You just put one of these cider, in. It? No, you put it in the cider. We don't do that with a tea bag. You don't put a tea bag in tea. That's true. Ha ha! I win. What also, is going on with this. that? <laughs> oh, you look so sad and pathetic. He's so good at dressing up. I'm just taking a photo of him in front of the tree. Okay. Check my Instagram. <laughs> Shameless vlog. Okay, Shep. You don't have to wear your antlers. But they do have a woolly hat for you. Ah, is that much better? This one's much higher class. It's got like elastics for his ears. Apparently one of these cups holds best part of a pint of liquid. <laughs> either that would boil off most of the either alcohol or water. I'm hoping the water, otherwise it's going to be... No, I'm hoping I've boiled off the alcohol, <laughs> otherwise it's going to be really strong. Um, be careful, it's going to be very hot. Thank you. But it smells amazing. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, it I think it's... like cake. <laughs> it doesn't smell like cake. Unfortunately, it's going to be really hard to drink out of because these are bad enough as it is. And then with being so full, I think you might drown. <laughs> or just scalds my face. In the time it's taken me to do that mulled cider, we've managed to wrap a grand total of one, one present. You know why? Because we've been B-rolling the hell out of it. <laughs> takes forever hopefully what is it? it's now 25 past eight for reference hopefully by the time 25 minutes to have one present <laughs> yeah. oh my god we're gonna be here for days <laughs> no 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 we'll speed it up we'll get rid of the b-roll camera and we'll just start wrapping oh so many presents i wish i could wrap 
I was gonna give you a cool little Christmas wrap then, but I can't. Go on then, do it. Promise me a cool little Christmas wrap, just, do it. I also follow that with, uh, but I can't, because I started my wrap nope. going, doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, which is not wrapping yeah, get at back, all. Get back under your rock. <laughs> 15 minutes have now passed. It is now 20 to 9 for those of you that can't be bothered working it out. And we've wrapped a grand total of zero presents. I'm sat here thinking, we really need some Christmas snacks. Unfortunately, over the past few days, we've eaten all the Christmas snacks. <laughs> <laughs> we now have zero Christmas snacks. <laughs> almost as many. We have almost as many Christmas snacks as we have um, a gifts wrapped. We do have some chocolates for other people. We can't. No. No. no I know where you're going with this. We are not eating other people's chocolates. But if we did, we wouldn't need to wrap them. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds, one stone. But then we wouldn't have gifts for some people. That is true. Would they notice? Well, maybe now after we've told them. <laughs> so if you're getting chocolate from us this year, consider yourselves lucky. But <laughs> we question, didn't eat it, yeah. is that the original chocolate that you were supposed to get? <laughs> okay, um, I think I need to go and get some Christmas snacks. Okay. It feels so Christmas eve -y tonight. It does feel like Christmas Eve. Right. I'll go get Christmas snacks while you start wrapping. There better be at least one present wrapped by the time I get back. Okay. I won't have started playing with any of the toys. You better not play with any of the toys. books or other stuff that we've got. Duffy and I here have decided to take a short break from wrapping. Mm. Oh wow, it's hard to drink them. <laughs> this cup is really tricky. Yeah, we've wrapped three presents so far. We're doing really, really well. But it is now time for Mulled Cider and some Miracle on 34th Street. It is hands down my very favourite film and it just isn't Christmas without Miracle. What is your favourite Christmas movie? Or what else do you do while you're wrapping presents? Like every year I watch this, then I'm going to watch Muppet Christmas Carol. Because uh, you don't even need to see the pictures. I can see it all in my head. I can just sing along to the songs and merrily rap away. I come bearing a gift. Yay! And it will make your life easier, I promise. Ooh, what's that? On the hand dispenser. Wear it on your hand. I swear you will not want to go back after having the ease of this sort of thing on your hand. That sounds awesome. Thanks. It was on offer too. It was, uh, it was on sale. I promise it's the best thing you'll ever had this year. How much does it cost compared to a card factory fake sale tape? Uh, probably way more than that. <laughs> but a lot less effort. Woohoo! I finished my first roll of wrapping paper. <laughs> I've accomplished some presents. They're looking pretty good. As in, I've got a tiny stack here. And a little stack here that is all ready to go and be delivered. I still have two rolls left to go and I definitely need some energy to help me get through those extra two rolls. And it's a good job Chris came back with snacks, basically. Unfortunately, he didn't come back with enough snacks because empty. These are amazing. They are hazelnut lints. They are mostly milk, creamy milk chocolate praline with like a little a bit of nut in it and oh, I just couldn't stop like putting them in my mouth. Like whole, oh, gone, oh, gone, oh, gone. They last very long. Finished milk on 34th Street, mostly because the internet kicked me off and I can't watch it anymore. But I am now watching Love Actually, which I always forget is a Christmas movie. I have not seen this in years and years. Oh, also, how cool is my cell tape? Woo! Professional rapper. Yeah, this film I haven't seen in years and they all look so young. It's almost 11 o'clock and um, I've nearly finished all this wrapping. What is, you've done what wrapping? <laughs> I've not done any You wrapping. passed me like one piece of sellotape <laughs> and then you went out and bought better sellotape so now I don't even need you anymore. <laughs> yes, I replaced myself with a sellotape thing. How was it anyway? It was really good. Yeah. But the sellotape's really, really, really sticky. So you've got to be really careful. Oh no, the sellotape's sticky. Anyway. It's time to wrap things up for the week, I think. Oh, Shut you up, funny, you. funny guy. Shut up, you. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. Um, we've got most things done. This is what is done. There's still a handful of things. I've not wrapped the presents I've got for Jen, and I don't think she's done any presents that she may or may not have gotten for me. Better have a present. You better be wrapping mine. Why? Just put them in a Sainsbury's bag or something. You've <laughs> been wrapped in anyway, hell. Before this battery runs out. If you want to see what presents we've got or what Nathan gets for Christmas from Father Christmas, from Father Christmas, make sure that you are subscribed if you're not, and we will see you and show you next week. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you maybe in the new year. <gasps> I don't really know when the next vlog is going to go live. I've been really bad at editing and uploading at the moment. <laughs> I think that might be my New Year's resolution. Hope you have a great Christmas and um, Santa's nice to you, and you don't get a big lump of coal or something. So, bye. 
In the quiet evening, snow is falling, and from every window shines a light. Somewhere in the distance, drums are calling. 